What's up, Cancer? Welcome back to my channel. And if you're new, what's up? Come on in here, hop on the couch, kick your feet up, relax, and enjoy yourselves, boo. Grab your weed, your blunt, your cigarettes, your drink, your drugs. Y'all know I don't give a fuck. Hell, your fruit, your water. Just do you. But allow me to say thank you to all my beautiful subscribers who purchased my decks and my gifts from my Amazon wish list. Thank you, boo. greatly appreciate it. But I'd also like to thank all my beautiful subscribers for all the love and support that you show me. You don't have two booths and you do and you do for that. It means the world to me. Thank you so much. And if you'd like to donate to my channel, all my information will be down below in the description box. All right, my lovely cancers. This will be a reading on what your person is feeling about you and what they're thinking about you right now. Okay? And the cards that I pulled were the Seven of Wands, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Three of Wands, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, Five of Cups, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, Nine of Pentacles, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. So it seems as though even though you still got your guards up, okay, you still don't trust this person. You still feeling a little defensive about what they did. You could be accusing them for something that they did or somebody that they dealt with in their past and you took a stance and you meant what you said and you said what the fuck you meant and you're not trying to compromise and meet eye to eye or see halfway right now but this person since then has been missing you like crazy and been wondering if you ever gonna return because they now feeling regret and remorse for stepping back doing their own thing okay yeah they crying over spilled milk down they can't believe all their love time and energy has been just gone down the drain. That's been all wasted. All right. But let's clarify and see what we get. Set them up here since I can't put them nowhere else. Put them up here. All right, let's see what we got here. Okay, where is my crystal? Oh, hold on for a second. So it seems like this person has been stressing, worrying, and replaying this fight, this dispute you guys had over and over in their head. They can't stop thinking about it. They living in worry, stress, and fear because you could have saw some love messages on what love produced. Okay? This person could have looked like they could have blocked you to go take a leap of faith with a Leo. Yeah, they blocked you to take a leap of faith with a Leo. Um, yeah, they went and took some time out to be alone. They feel regret. Now they feeling regret because they took some time out to be alone and it caused an unexpected ending. All right. Yeah, they started, they lied and cheated and was deceptive. But they started a passionate beginning with this King of Wands, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Mm -hmm. That's why they stepped back because they started a passionate new beginning with this King of Wands and they lied and cheated and, and was being deceptive about it. All right. This is why you still got your guards up and you still don't trust their ass and you still feel a little paranoid about what they did. 
All right. at the bottom of the deck we have the moon card Pisces so this person was keeping secrets he hiding shit from you okay keeping you in the dark yeah but they ready to move forward with you okay you could be dealing with a cancer <coughs> excuse me they're ready to move forward after this third-party situation. Okay, they just want to reconcile so that you guys can celebrate being back together. They know if they send you any offer, you're going to reject all their offers because you're tired and bored and just over it. You're just disappointed in the ass. Could be dealing with a cancer Pisces Scorpio. Yeah, because you, you could be tired and bored and over your ass due to a Leo, okay? Cause you or it could have been something illuminated to you, a pregnancy. All right, just apply to your life and leave the rest. What's going on here with this damn light? The light. What's going on with the light? I'll leave it over here. Yeah. But this person still sees happiness, joy. You bring out the kid in them. Okay, they're their happiest with you. Yeah, but you're still holding on to a grudge by what they did. You still be, you, like I said, you could be holding on to a grudge because of a Leo. Just apply it to your life and leave the rest. Yeah, something shocked your soul to the core that it caused an unexpected ending. And you just still holding on to it ever since. Yeah, because you felt like they took you for granted. Whatever shocked your soul to the core and caused an unexpected ending, you felt like they took you for granted. Because you carried, you literally carried the relationship. And you felt like this relationship was overburning and it was depleting your energy anyway. Could be dealing with an Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. But they still see a happy family, a happy life with you. Could be dealing with a Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Yeah, they still see a successful, happy life with you. Even though they, it was some toxic shit looming over your relationship. They could have had a sex, a sex, drug, or alcohol obsession, obsession or addiction. Okay? They could have had you and somebody else literally on a string. They've been dealing with a Capricorn. And this is why you step back to heal, to get yourself together, to work on you. Or this is why they step back to do their own thing. Just apply to your lives and leave the rest. But yeah, they will be communicating with you. Want to off, uh, want to offer you a new love, passionate endeavor. Could be dealing with the Page of Wands, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. That's too many. Yeah, because they've been stressing. They've been stressing and having sleepless nights about this fight, about this dispute. You probably had to uh, compete for their love, fight for their love. They could have had other suitors. Could have been jealousy. Okay, but they stressing about this fight. They can't stop thinking about it. They repeating this shit over and over in their head, living in fear and worry. Crying themselves to sleep at night. 
Could be dealing with a Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Yeah, but this person had other options and they treated you like an option. But they no longer want to treat you like an option. Could be dealing with a Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Yeah. And it was heartbreak due to a third party situation. Because they had other options. That's why you had to move away. You had to just, you know, you moved on to calmer waters. Too much shit going on. Could you dealing with a Gemini, Libra, Aquarius? Yeah, you walked away from conflict. This person was trying to win at all costs. So you walked away feeling defeated from a third party situation. <clears throat> Excuse me. Yeah, and it's been a stalemate situation ever since. Okay, they could have blocked you. But they ready to put in the work now. All right, they ready to fix what they broke. Could be dealing with a Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Yeah, they walked away only to find out that the grass went greener on the other side. Now they ready to fix what they broke. With you. Yeah, this person was very charming, very charismatic, knew all the right things to say, to talk you right about your panties or your drawers or your boxers. <clears throat> Smooth criminal. Could have had a lot of suitors, you know, more than one. Okay? But they know what they want, and they go after it, and they about to initiate some type of action. Or they could be walking away from a king of wands, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. If this person still feels that you're their nine of cups, you're their wish fulfillment. They could have been an alcoholic or using some type of drug substance. Yeah, but this person is seeing things in a different perspective now. And they're willing to make all type of sacrifices. Ever since this relationship has been stagnant and suspended up in the air and hasn't been going anywhere. They've been dealing with a Pisces. Let's get you one more card. Yeah, this person is ready to be rooted and grounded and stable with you. Okay? And they believe in family, marriage, and long-term committed relationships. You could be dealing with this king of pentacles. Okay? Or it couldn't, or the relationship is not going anywhere because of this king of pentacles, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. This applies to your life and lead the rest. But this person could have a lot of money. Let's get you an advice card. We got protection. Set your personal boundaries. All right, let me read it. All right, boundaries. It is time to set them. Small areas of ugliness are blinding you to the greater beauty that is your rightful environment. The girl of protection anchors herself softly in the present moment, yet her back of white thorns shield her from the negative naysayers of the outside world. She is not defined by her thorns, but she keeps them ready. A particular significance with this card is setting electronic boundaries around phenomena like social media at this time. People around you who have been allowed access to your space may not have, may not have your best interests at heart. Protect yourself. Do not suffer fools and do not be hardened by others' cruelty. Have compassion for their wounds, souls, and yet set firm boundaries. Just because they are hardened doesn't mean you have to be. Be soft but strong. 
All right, me love. So I'm leaving here. And if this resonated with you guys, go ahead and give your girl a big thumbs up. If not, you can give me a big thumbs down. I really don't give a fuck. Just take heed to the message. That's all that's matter to that's all that matters to me. All right. So thank you for watching. Until next time, same bat time, same bat channel. All right, deuces. <laughs>